Hello everyone, my name is John Sanchez and I'm here today to discuss my group's work in designing and characterizing a low power moisture sensor from commercially available electronics. Our goals with developing this sensor are to maintain low power consumption during active use and during inactivity as well, and uh, to maintain accuracy comparable to different commercial soil sensors, uh, such as a Delta T sensor or an Aclamax sensor. The motivation behind our project is to create an entirely underground sensor network that is uh, wirelessly power transferred. And uh, for this application, we'd obviously need a sensor and system that can go weeks to months without needing another recharge, uh, which makes low power consumption so very important. Our sensor is designed using uh, just commercial off the shelf electronics, uh, such as uh, Arduino chips and uh, other DIY sensors. The theory of how this sensor operates is that it's based on an RCL resonant circuit. Uh, since water increases the dielectric permittivity of a soil, of a soil sample, uh, we can exploit that fact to measure different frequency shifts in that RCL resonant circuit when, we, when the soil is wetter versus drier. And uh, we can correspond that to a moisture level within the soil. The method we've used to characterize our soil is uh, to test it with two different soil types, uh, sandy and a loamy soil, and to test each soil at five different moisture levels. Uh, using this aggregated data, we've been able to generate a best fit curve that uh, takes in the sensor output and uh, correlates that to a soil moisture level. At every moisture level, we also took comparison readings with a delta T theta probe and with an aclima sensor as well to see how our accuracy compares. Our results show that our, we have consistent performance across soil type and across different bulk densities as well. Uh, the accuracy rate that we're getting is within 1.745% of the value reported by weighing and uh, baking volumetric samples. And uh, you can see our best fit relationship below as well. In terms of error magnitude, we're roughly comparable to the two different commercial sensors that we've tested. Uh, they both report error values of 1%. Uh, from our test, we've shown that they're slightly off of 1%, but on average, they're on, in that, roughly in that same ballpark. However, where our sensor excels over the other two sensors is that we consume significantly less energy per measurement, uh, over 10 times in certain cases. So what we've been able to do is uh, create a significant reduction in how much power our sensor consumes while maintaining a very uh, respectable level of accuracy. Uh, in terms of future works, we still have a lot to do. We need to correlate our, uh, test our best fit curve against a lot more different types of soils. Uh, for example, we still need a clay heavy soil. We also need to test our sensor against different salinity levels in the soil, as uh, well as testing it in different organic contents. There's definitely some hardware improvements that we can make, uh, such as just improving certain components and uh, those sorts of elements. Uh, the next steps in the overall project are to incorporate this system into the wireless power transfer system, and then to eventually buried the whole entire system underground for in situ soil condition monitoring. Thank you for your time and uh, have a nice day.